Hi there, this is Steven and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Heroes Chosen the Sky Second Chapter. Today I am in the Chaldea Tunnel, and you get that by going to the basement floor of the Central Factory. Oh, okay. Huh. Is that right? Uh, make sure that you talk to Rudy beforehand. Uh, I talked to him a while ago, like four or five videos ago. So make sure that you do that because it adds to your BP. Whoa! Because it adds to your BP. Uh, let's see, we're going to go through the tunnel, and there's all sorts of different stuff to do down here, but mostly it's just gathering treasure, looking around, you know, finishing up some quests, and the monsters are pretty easy to avoid down here as well. So that's pretty nice. Uh, let's see, going down here, we want to go this way, because pretty much at every single dead end, there is a treasure. Whoa! With monsters! Whoa, lots of monsters here. What do we have here? Let's see what we got. The Bubble Blower, okay. Hypnotic Bubbles. The Fairy Epitaph, oh wow. Ooh, ooh, and petrifies foes. Holy shit! Oh man, lots of stuff here. Okay, ooh, the damp crawler. Ooh, god, cave ray. Man, it's like every single enemy that we're gonna fight is all in one battle here, just to piss me off. Well, we're gonna do a quick draw too. Hopefully, get a ton of them. Oh, we missed. That's really crappy. Well, we'll probably get a hurricane in there, and uh, let's see. Lots of them there. Oh, that's good enough. Nice. Between those two attacks, I mean, you pretty much get rid of all the, uh, the little guys, at least. <laughs> and she absorbs, uh, she was absorbing zero each time, but she is able to absorb, um, from every single enemy that she attacks so, with her absorb, um, quartz. So that's pretty nice. If you're playing a higher difficulty level, that will come in real handy for her, at least. Uh, you know, she is your hero, after all. But if you want to use it on, like, Oliver or one of the other weaker party members, that would work, or that would come in handy as well. But she is a frontline fighter, and she's able to attack a lot of different uh, monsters at the same time with her, with, with her hurricane. So the Absorb comes in handy, considering that she's going to get uh, beat up on a lot more than some of the other characters. Oh, very nice. And this is pretty much it. <clears throat> Just wanted to mention, last night, um, I went over to a friend's house, and we played a, a board game, a, a new board game, and it was pretty fun. It was called Settlers of Catan. I've never played it before, but it was it, it was kind of fun. Um, I had a good time with it. I, I don't know if any of y'all have ever played it before, but it was a pretty good game. And uh, just, uh, I don't know why I wanted to mention that, but hey, why not? Ooh, Mirage Ring. Let's check that out. See what that does. Let's, oh, oh my god. Let me... Uh, let me check my frick... God, I have to, 20 different buttons to figure out which one is rich. Ooh, prevents petrify. Okay. Well, I'm not going to worry about that right now. And then go down this dead end. And we get a frog. Lovely. So let's reset our map and head due north to get out of this tunnel. Yeah, I was... Um, I, of course, didn't win because I was just starting the game. But, you know, it's uh, it's nice to play different things at different times, you know, different games and things like that. And I have a fun time. My friend Chris loves to play different games. So this is the Lionstone Cave, and even though it's on your map, it's on your uh, liberal map, we can't actually go there. It's just blocked off because of an avalanche or a cave-in or plot-related reasons, I guess. It's just a way of saying, you know, you can't go there because of an invisible plot wall. Okay, next part of the tunnel, oh, we can go ahead and uh, rest up here at this little recharge station, so that's pretty nice, but they said that we needed to place a seismograph near the bridge, so here's the bridge. Let's see. This is the place we're after, the first bridge in the Caldea Tunnel, right? Uh-huh. We just need to set up on either side of the bridge, I think. Uh, hmm, there's an orbital charging device over here, so this is a bad spot, which means... Yeah, I gotta do it on this side. Ooh, there's a fishing spot. Love my fishing spots. I'll have to do that off screen right after this scene. I won't even go over to the thing. I'll just do it off screen. Okay, and point the antenna down the tunnel just so. Yeah, this should be okay. Estelle, putting the device here should work. Should have set it up. Sure. Why not? Okay. All done. Flip that switch as hard as you can. Perfect. This should be the last one, the last seismograph that we have to uh, deal with, actually. Good work, Squirt. Hey, Estelle! Huh? Oh, it's uh, Onlace and uh, Shara. It's been a while. I didn't think we'd meet up here of all places. 
And I see a familiar face caught up with you as well. Weren't you staying at the hot springs in Elmo? Ah, but Shara, there are currents deeper than the sea at play here. Meaning you're tagging along out of curiosity. Pretty much, yeah. Ah, the barbs and slings I endure from you two. Hey, Shara, been a while. Oh, my. And Tita's here too? Oh, right. Killika mentioned getting Professor Russell's help in investigating the earthquakes. He must be helping with that then. Yep. Uh, Onlace? What's up? You're spacing out. Uh, I can't. I can't stop myself anymore! You're the cutest thing! <laughs> I cannot hug you! So cute! So cute! So cute! Uh, what? Oh, yeah. Onlace's love of cute things. Didn't I, uh, call this at one point? Gotta make sure she doesn't smother Tita. You said your name is Tita, right? I'm Onlace Alfred. You can just call me Onlace, what? Onlace, you're even cute. Oh, no, not Onlace. <laughs> you're even cuter when you get all confused. Shara, I claim this cutie for the Bracer Guild. We're taking her with us. I know how you feel, but I don't think that that's a good idea. If I were you, I'd be worried about her big brother over there. Uh, what are you staring at me for? So, Shara, why are you guys out here? Did you come looking for us? No, just a happy coincidence. We're on the trail of some clues concerning the Sky Bandits and the Old Intelligence Division. Huh? The Sky Bandits and the... In, uh, you mean there are guys from those still on the loose? That's right. There are still men from both that the army hasn't caught. You guys found some kind of clue? Well, the guilds had witnesses call, calls pouring in. Most of them aren't that reliable, though. We've been investigating throughout the country, following up on some of the more reliable leads. Though, I was curious. I heard one of the Ouroboros showed up in Rouen. Yeah, a weirdo in an opera suit calling himself the Phantom Thief. Even with that stupid costume, the guy was a powerhouse. If he'd really tried to fight us, it could have been bad for us. Whoa, Agate's saying someone was tough? Ouroboros really is dangerous in that case. More mysterious than dangerous, I'd say. Well, remember... If you need our help, call us anytime. If you use the guild's horrible phones, you should be able to contact us quickly. Yeah, uh, we'll do that. Ditto for you, Shara. If anything happens, get in touch with us. We'll be there in an instant. Good, I'll be counting on it. It is nice to see you again, but this is hardly the place for a long talk. It's about time we moved on. Yeah, it's too bad, but I guess you're right. How cruel you are, Shara. How can you be so cold after finally reuniting with your beloved? Uh... Well then, why don't you come with us? We can have a drink tonight to celebrate a reunion. Hey, Shara can drink a dinner dial? I don't know what that is. Dine dial? Under the table, you know. Be cautious in your travels. Oh, fur. Why do you always try to do things that blow up in your face? Hey, don't take this the wrong way, but you're two women traveling alone. Make sure you don't bite off more than you can chew, okay? Whoa, Agate. Being thoughtful? Hold the presses! I think the earth just shook again! What did I just say about biting off and chewing? Just kidding. He does have a point, though. Thank you, Agate. We'll be careful, as should you. Stay well, everyone. Next time we meet, let's hang out together. You bet. Okay, well, sweet. I didn't think we'd meet up with Sharon Onlys out here. Are you okay, Tita? I was kind of afraid Onlace would squeeze her like a grape. Yeah, I'm okay. That was uh, kind of surprising, though. Well, she's not a bad person, so forgive her, okay? Still, though, remnants of the bandits and the intelligence goons? Both groups seem to have secret society backing. If those two do a good job, we might get some valuable clues. We'd better do our best, too. Anyway, so right here is fine, right? Yeah, we've got all the devices in place now. Let's go back to Gramps in the operations room at the Central Factory. Roger that. Fifth floor of the factory, right? And we'll do that later. We still have more uh, exploring to do. And as far as the fishing spot is concerned, I will do that on the way back. Because I'm going to have to cut to go back to the Central Factory anyway, so I might as well just do the fishing off-screen then. And if I catch anything interesting, as usual, I'll uh, show it off. Get away from me. And uh, let's see. We're in the... I think this is the third part of it. And we have a northern branch and a southern branch that we have to do. So we'll do the southern branch right over here first even though i totally like missed that branch and in that monster's box i think that that was like literally every yeah single monster that you can fight down here in the caliga tunnels uh those gemini boots are pretty crappy 
They're women only, but they reduce your speed, your agility, and your movement. The hard loafers are nice, are so much nicer because they give much more bonuses. The Gemini boots gives 10 more defense, but it's not worth it to lose that speed and agility. And as I said before, Estelle going first is so amazing, at least for me it is, because you get in a tr in, you can either get in a true hurricane and just blast the crap out of them, or you can, um, ooh, lots of monsters here. Or you can um, run from the battle. So having her go close to first is really, really nice. But let's check out these guys that we have here. The Whale Frog, amphibious monster with poisonous tongue. That's the male. And then the Whale Frog female, okay, calls for its mate counterpart. So that's just lovely. Uh, regular. So lots of males and one female. So anyway, yeah, same things here. Oh, we can get all of them with a true hurricane. That's kind of nice. And we paralyzed the one of them. I guess uh, Oliver must have a paralysis quartz or something. I don't want to use the fire one. I want to use the Dragoon Edge. Maybe I can get more than one. No, I can't. Uh, let's try this. Can I get any? No. That sucks. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that one. Tita has a lot of um, CP. What can I use for her? We'll use a smoke cannon. Seriously, you suck. Um, what about a cannon impulse? Oh, that's much nicer. Ooh, we can get three of them there. Used up all of her CP, though, but I hardly ever really use it anyway, so but whatever. It's fine. Bam! Did I kill any? Perfect! Ooh, killed two. And all you did was call an ally. But that's like a little a little guy. I don't think we've seen that little guy before. What do we have down here? This, uh, a fly skipper. Okay. Okay, so just leeches HP. I can deal with that. Uh, let's see probably kill you in oh I can totally kill you in one hit but I'll maybe kill you in one hit no oh, that sucked and this fly skipper didn't do shit didn't do anything and again quick draw two Ooh, all three of them because he has that gladiator headband he gains so much CP it's just obscene you can literally use it every single round it is amazing Having a, what it does is it gives you 10% more CP than you would normally gain, and it just makes it so that he can use his crafts, well, basically his quick draw too, and just clear the board, like, all the time. If I didn't say so before, this is, like, the monster extermination quest that we, we got this when we first came into Zeiss, and uh, we never really came down here, so we're doing it now. Uh, this is just, I'll show you, this is at a fork where one of the, um, the tunnels, I believe, leads north, and he's just kind of hiding over here in the shadows. So, yeah, I'll show you exactly where I am for this quest. We did it right here at this fork. So, we're gonna head up into, whoa, gonna head up into here because, again, at each one of these branching paths, there is a treasure, EP charge, and there should be two more treasures that we have, oh, go this way. Yeah, what do we have? A Tierra Bomb, and then over on this route, what do we have? Ooh, a Death Blow, too. You know what? I really need to upgrade my ornaments, because I got some new ornaments in, um, in Carnelia Tower as well. So I want to do that off-screen. Yeah, well, well, whenever I head back into the Central Tower, I'll go ahead and upgrade my ornaments and everything else as well, just with the various treasures that I've received. So here we are at the Air Laton checkpoint, and pretty much everybody here talks about uh, the earthquakes. And I'll just show off the uh, the extra dialogue that you can get here. It's nothing spectacular. It's nothing important. And if you really want to read it, you know, pause. Um, it's not that big of a deal. But you you can't go back into Juan. Uh, Agate stops you, and uh, there's nothing to get here either there's nothing you know special there's no secret treasures there's none of that there's nothing that you can really buy that you couldn't have gotten uh previously so it's just here it's just a nice little touch you know and i like nice little touches like this in the game so anyway that's it for the dialogue here so i'm going to um to meet you back in uh let's see the peeping tom yeah there it is so i'm going to meet you back in the uh central factory to turn in our earthquake quest uh, quest. I'm on the fifth floor of the uh, Central Factory. Head on inside. Turn in our quest. Professor Russell, we're connected to the first unit and receiving telemetry now. 
Yes, I see. Good, the connection is perfect. And even better, it looks like things are rock solid. Secure our connections to the other two units at once. Understood, Professor. I think they know we succeeded already. I guess. Man, this room is still the weirdest damn thing. Oh, hello everyone. Hi, Mr. Murdoch. We've got the measuring devices set up like the professor asked. Yeah, we saw. We've got data pouring in from them already. So the capital's already running? Aye, Russell's running some sort of program to sort the data now. In fact, if you look at the computer screen back there, you can actually see that um, some of the little... I don't know, the little, the screen, like, changes based upon your conversation, so it's kind of, it's kind of cool. Everyone wasn't expecting you back this quickly. As you can see, thanks to you, we're getting all the data that we need. Good work, you four. Well, really, all we do is carry the instrument bits. Besides, we're the ones getting a favor off of you. You should be thanking short stuff over here. She's the one who put them together like a pro. Oh, well, I didn't do anything special. No, you did very well. Even the transmitters are perfect. The signal that we're receiving is marvelous. Oh, well, yay! So we're all set up now, right, Grandpa? Can I do anything else to help? No, we're as prepared as we can be, I think. I've programmed the capital to begin analysis automatically if a disturbance is detected in the septium veins. Now we just wait for an earthquake again. So we've pretty much hurried up to wait. I don't know if we can stay calm just waiting for an earthquake to strike Zeiss again. <laughs> Indeed. An earthquake hitting the city directly is, is a discomforting thought. Don't suppose we have a plan in case that happens? We've secured and locked down the factory for an earthquake. Even so, if the next earthquake is much stronger, it'll be hard on us. At the very least, I can't imagine we'll avoid property damage. Unfortunately, the capital here is the same. Strong enough vibrations could damage it, causing errors and making our experiment fail. So, a prayer or three to the goddess wouldn't go amiss, everyone. I thought I was nervous before. Huh. Even with cutting-edge technology, we still need a favor from the goddess? Engineers can be really faithful, you know. I pray to the goddess a lot when I'm working really hard on something. She does have a point. I remember when Russell was developing the first orbital airship. I was going to church three times a day. You could have had a little faith in something other than the goddess, Chief Murdoch. Huh. After 39 failed experiments, could you blame me? Huh, they've always been like this, haven't they? I think that they have, yeah. Anyway, looks like we've got some time to kill. Wouldn't hurt to pop back over to the guild house and report in. Yeah, go on ahead. We'll contact the guilds should anything happen. Uh-oh, caution! Yeah, now the screen is kind of changing around because something is, you know, happening. Earthquake! Seems we don't have that much time to kill after all! All three instruments are reporting changes. The septium veins appear to be active. Continue monitoring. Don't take your eyes off them for a second. If the signals are interrupted, report immediately. There's no shaking or anything, though. Data still coming in from all three instruments. Given the direction the seismic waves are headed, the origin point of the trembler coordinates are something or other. Very interesting. What do you mean? We know where the earthquake's epicenter is. It's Lyston Fortress. What? Dad! Oh, hell. Well, at least he's outside. You know, nothing really happens to an earthquake if you're outside. We're under attack! Whoa! Calm down, it's just an earthquake! Hold your line, stay in position! Uh-oh, but if you're inside, you can get fucked! General Cassius, you... Seems I was right. Ordering a work stoppage at the port was the right idea. Incredible! I didn't actually think there would be an earthquake as you predicted. Cassius, just what kind of magic did you use? It's not magic, it's just logic, Morgan. The logic of our foe's desires. After three rehearsals, it was simply a question of what made the most tempting target. Chief, we've received word from the Lyston Fortress. They've suffered a fairly large earthquake. We were right. What happened? Is anyone hurt? Thankfully, there don't seem to be any injuries. I think that they mentioned that they prepared in advance. Thank the goddess. Huh, that's Cassius, all right. The man has the dangerous sense of a fox. Now then, the capital should have the results for us. It says calculation completed. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot to fit in on there, but they fit it in. This is interesting. What is it, Professor? Did we learn something? I do believe that we have. According to this, the flows along the septium veins were altered significantly prior to the earthquake. The unusual flow flows gathered beneath the single location, apparently. Since it occurred quite close to the surface, it had little effect beyond the immediate area. 
So that would mean... Hang on a second. You're saying someone's controlling Septium veins in order to generate earthquakes on purpose? Literally an earthquake weapon then. Sweet goddess. You have the right of it. A weapon that can cause earthquakes anywhere with Septium veins. Uh, Grandpa! Controlling Septium veins? Is that even possible? It's well beyond the capabilities of any earth-moving technology I'm aware of. I agree. However, we can't deny the evidence in front of us. Someone's made it possible. Well, tough for them. Professor, can you use the data to figure out where the weapon is? If you can, we'll go stop it. Yeah, damn straight. Perhaps I can. Right. Pull back to the data at the start of the disturbance. Now, in what direction does the flow disturbance begin? I have it. Huh? Tita, do you know where that is? I think so. The coordinates are selge from Zeiss's center, so... If, if east 12 selge and north 378 is Lyston Fortress, east 165 selge and south negative 228 selge would be... You want to choose Elmo Village. Yeah, I think it'd be about here. What? Hell of a place to hide. Elmo Village. The tunnels which house the source of their springs hide our culprit. I can't say for certain, but it seems likely. So what do you plan to do? Isn't it obvious? We're going to check it out now. Yeah, we need to move and fast. Indeed. So, Tita, go with them. They need your knowledge and technical skill in their investigation. Uh... Okay, I'll do everything I can to help, I promise. This might be kind of dangerous. On the other hand, Tita will be a big help. So, I'm, so I sure can't say no. For the love of... Fine. Whatever. You just be careful, okay, Squirt? I will. I'll contact Elmo ahead of you. I'm sure Mrs. Mao will be glad to help to help your investigation. Thanks, Mr. Murdoch. Hazel, get Mrs. Mao and the Elmo in on the line at once. I'll remain here and continue to analyze the data that we're getting from the capital. If I discover anything, I'll contact Elmo at once. Thanks, Professor. If we find anything, we'll call you right away. Good luck, everyone. All right, let's go on to Elmo. Yeah, uh, let's actually talk to them, see if they have anything more to say. Hurry on to Elmo, continue the analysis, contact at the end. Okay. Okay, nothing much going on there. Septium veins, yeah. Okay, so uh, what we have to do now is we actually need to go to the uh, guild and turn in our quests before we head to uh, Elmo Village. Why not? We've, we uh, completed... Oh, at least when well, we completed the monster quest, I don't know if we got a reward for the earthquake quest because I think that the earthquake quest morphs into the check out Elmo Village quest. So let's see what we got here. Sure, what do we got? Okay, oh, so we do get the earthquake investigation and we get extra bonus points for saying Elmo and also for talking to Rudy and doing various positive choices that we've done. So we're still on E class. Perfect. Uh, and then, so we're going to head to Elmo Village next time on Let's Play Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky second chapter. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.